Hello, this is Jerry3904 on the MX Forum, and I am here to provide a quick overview of the newest member of the MX Linux family, which is an official Raspberry Pi respin with MX Linux XFCE, uh, our flagship, our flagship desktop environment. I'm just going to give a quick overview so you can get started if you've never done it before. So first there are two icons in the upper left hand corner. One is the frequently asked questions. It's an important document for you to look through. It's quick to read. We get questions from people. How do I do this? How do I do that? Please read this. It's a whopping four pages long. And the second thing is a uh, the second thing is a, a, a text we've put together to help people coming for the first time. It's called RPI Tips. It covers a general approach for how you can get help, how you deal with software, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, the screen, various screen things including blinking, blanking, and I have a 7-inch display so I wanted to put that in, uh, how to get Netflix, uh, and a few miscellaneous things. Again, it's a quick read. It's very important. It'll get you a long way. Okay, let's start up in the right-hand corner. This uh, little thing here is people, some people call it a clock. It's actually a conky. It's a desktop system display. Um, the questions we quickly get are, how do I turn it off and how do I change it? So those are both easy questions to turn it off short term. We're going to go way down at the bottom left. This is this logo, MX logo, is the whisker menu. And right there in favorites is something called the conky toggle. Click that and the conky disappears. Pretty easy. Let's go back and turn it back on. Second question, how do I change it? Well, it's a conky, so we might start by searching for conky here and see if we can find something. Ho! Oh, Conky Manager, right there. This pretty nice piece of software allows you to, we have a large curated, meaning we take care of our curated collection of Conkeys that comes with the distro. And you can see this is checked. This is this particular Conky right here. And if I want to change that, I'm going to uncheck it and pick something else. I'll pick one that has uh, a temperature control. I'm, I'm doing this, uh, I'm doing, this this, uh, this video on uh, P a Pi 5 and Pi 5 runs a lot hotter than uh, than certainly the Pi 4 uh, or the 400. So this allows us right here it says 63 degrees centigrade uh, and that's it is warm but the setup is pr pretty well to take care of it. So I'll deal with that. So those are conkeys. There's an awful lot of them. It's a lot of fun to uh, figure what, if you want to look what go through the whole set. Moving to the middle, this back is the background here. Um, we, uh, this is the new MX logo that we developed this year on the 10th anniversary of MX Linux. And this being XFCE, the general rule is right click is your friend. So I'm gonna right click this background and go to desktop settings. <coughs> Expand this so I can see it. And these are the default, uh, the default desktops that come with it. And I'm going to choose the smaller version of the logo that I happen to like very much. And uh, there we go. So now I've got a nice, I've changed the conky and I've changed this desktop. I like darker, darker things. You can, of course, uh, when you were looking at that dialog box a minute ago, you can, you can direct it to take a look at in pictures or any other place that you want to show on that display. So that's the background. Uh, third, let's take a look at whisker menu. Uh, in general, you, on a keyboard, the, the window key or the logo key will open whisker menu and save you snooping around for it. On the left are um, the, this, these on the right are the categories. And on the left are the items in the category. Of course, we tried to put uh, things that we thought were most, un, oh, most helpful. Uh, I want to stress there the, uh, the existence of, uh, of MX Tools. These are all various things. Package installer is part of MX Tools. But let's make sure you look at this. MX Tools is uh, kind of the signature feature of MX Linux. 
and you get most almost all of them you get with uh, with uh, the Raspberry Pi there's a couple that can't function on it but and these are really the important tools I'm going to show you a couple of them because MX tweak I'm going to click on that MX tweak has uh, a, a whole bunch of things uh, here the first item is panel how do you move the panel can you display it somewhere else um, <coughs> excuse me uh, secondly the theme and I said I like dark themes so I'm going to go to MX Comfort Dark aha oops I clicked too much MX Comfort Dark and I'll change the uh, the border to a thick border dark because I can never grab it and so now I've changed that that's pretty handy uh, the compositor uh, is set to the XFCE compositor. You will notice, watch my cursor over there. Do you see that it's blinking? Uh, that happens to, I don't know if everybody, but it happens primarily on the Pi 5. And uh, it has to do with the conky when the conky is running that, uh, that uh, it actually blinks away. <coughs> you can switch compositors. There's a Compton in there. And if I switch to that and click Apply, now you'll see that it is not uh, it is not clicking. We're still working on this problem, but this is one solution. <coughs> Display that's okay. Config options. You you will look through this, and uh, these are a whole bunch of important options for you to become familiar with. We will send you to MX Tweak a lot. It's just really important. And the other big one here is package installer. This is a very convenient way to. Uh, to it to to in, install packages a quick way this opening tab is popular applications these are ones that people most often uh, are, are going after so we put them here some of them are particularly set up so that you can avoid the problems so if you click under audio for instance uh, there's audacious which is what I use on the Raspberry Pi I do it just click that <coughs> and click install and I'd be off and running Enabled repos, these are all the repos, the Debian and the Raspberry Pi. MX test repo, I'm not going to run this. That's where we put packages that are, uh, I guess I am running it, <laughs> packages that are, uh, that are upgrades or new. We put them there for t uh, testing by um, our members before they get moved into main. Debian Pat ports is self-explanatory and flat packs you will know about or not be interested in. So that's package installer. It's something most of us use all the time. <coughs> okay, so that was uh, that was uh, MX Tool and the package installer. I said this was going to be quick. It, if I come up uh, here's over on the bottom left, there's there's Whisker menu again. This is the pager. You pager. I won't pay attention to that. That's a that's an eject button if you've got USBs. This is Bluetooth. Uh, I don't know if I have. Oh yeah, I do. So you to to set up Bluetooth. This is all in the tips document. But you left click, and uh, you get this question, and then you're going to search, and you can. That's the way you start to do it. That's Bluetooth. So this empty box is the updater. It keeps track of updates available. Uh, when something is available, it will turn green and you will left click it to open up the dialog box. If I were to let, left click it now, it would open up a very powerful package manager called Synaptic, where you have very uh, detailed control over what you're doing. Uh, if, there, if you want to check anyway, you can right click and uh, check for updates. By the way, there's also preferences here uh, that you might want to check. I, there's a couple I always check. I'll just pop that up and just automatically close and automatically answer yes uh, and leave me alone. But let me right click this and I'm going to check for updates. And while it's doing that, uh, it's very quick because there aren't all that many repos that it's looking at. And since this is a brand new uh, print, brand new uh, package, there isn't anything available. Everything is in it. So this is the Clipman. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi. There's a whole um, there's a whole passage again in the tips on how to set up Wi-Fi. Uh, but basically, you're if, if you're going to left click it and look for. Uh, 
available networks. It tells you what networks it, it has it has gotten or not. And finally, the speaker. This is the speaker for uh, for all sorts of things. But if you're having trouble, this is this shows me the output. Uh, that I'm using. That's the speaker itself. This is the microphone I'm using. And then if you were trying to adjust things, you click on audio mixer and that's where you make uh, fancy adjustments. Almost done. Uh, the panel, uh, I showed you how to ch change it using MX Tweak where you can decide certain properties. Uh, when, you right, when you right click the panel, uh, it may be somewhere, but you basically want to look at the panel and this is where you can add items, uh, you can change the preferences, uh, how's it gonna look, all that kind of thing. Uh, this is something you use fair amount. Um, and it, once you've gotta go to panel, panel preferences, add new items, Let's say that it'll bring up a list of things that you can add if you want to. Um, and uh, that's something that, I, XFCE has a whole range of items that you can add. Uh, this is this is the camera, simple screen recorder. Uh, these two here, this is Thunar, the file manager. I'm going to right click that and you'll see that it's pinned to the dock. There's a dock-like area here and you can unpin or pin things there. The other thing is pinned to the dock is, is Chromium. We run Chromium, by the way, instead of our usual Firefix Flux because it was so much better in performance during our testing, especially on video, but also on general speed. So that's the way we went. All right, that's about it. I just want to give you a quick once over. How do you get yourself oriented? Read the FAQs, read the tips. Uh, there's an entire... Uh, there's an entire user's manual with 200 pages that you can just search in if you're looking for something. And of course, there's the Raspberry Pi documentation uh, <coughs> that you can get out of the menu. Take care. I hope that was useful and let me know what you think.